Well, it's June 8th, 2015, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good Monday morning. Glad to have you with us. Oh, boy, we start another brand new week. Yes, I'm so we excited are. about that. I'm glad you're with us. Thank you for being here. Oh, boy. Did it, you have a nice weekend? It was a great weekend. I, yep. We had a, thank goodness, we had a little bit of rain toward the last latter part of the week. Well, it started around, what, Tuesday, I guess, Monday mm -hmm. or Tuesday, anyway. And that rain continued for us, and we needed the rain badly. Yes, we did. Uh, the corn especially is looking kind of dry in the southern end of the county. I don't know about the northern end, but it is down that way. But uh, uh, the, the lawns and the gardens certainly need the rain, and it's <laughs> a sure. good thing to have it. But, yeah, the weekend was fantastic. Yes, it was. How about yours? Uh, absolutely wonderful. Love my weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Well, let's see what we have here. I've got yeah. Literacy Connections. Yes. Uh, Pat Gates and everybody there just doing a fantastic job. I love they Literacy do. Connections. Uh, their hours during uh, the, for this year, uh, Monday through Thursday, 8.30 in the morning until 8 p.m. Now, that's almost a 12-hour day, 8.30 a.m. until 8 p.m., and then Fridays, 8.30 in the morning until 12.30 in the afternoon. So they take a half a day off there. But that's Monday through Thursday, 8.30 to 8, and then Friday, 8.30 to 12.30 p.m. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we are asking for the community's feedback again. This is on feedback. a new project. We are asking for your opinions and your feedback. Oh, your feedback. I thought feedback. Said feedback. I was going to go out and get a feedback. No, thank you. Okay. Your opinions and feedback on... Downtown, you know how we have, we're going to have on Center Street three different roundabouts. Yes. On the new Center Street. And what is a roundabout now? A roundabout is very much like, do you know the roundabout we have on Center Street where you go around oh, Ash Street oh. and you have different areas where you can exit? Yeah, that's like a circle. It, like a circle, the big circle. Same thing, but there's another term called roundabout. 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 You go round about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's about round. Yes, it is. It's roundabout. Well, in the middle roundabout yes. there will be three yeah that's where there will be a fountain that will um, shoot water up and it'll come down and come back and it'll be just a really nice um, center point wow. of our downtown that's great very large i love it then there will be two other roundabouts and they will have art sculptures displayed there and what um, has been worked up to this point is where they will be temporary in other words like leased art mm -hmm. so it'll be there maybe up to a year oh. and then it'll be changed out oh so to keep our downtown very interesting. That's exciting. So what uh, Downtown Goldsboro or DGDC has done is they have created a group or a committee a, called a steering committee that have looked over all these various pieces, pieces of sculpture mm -hmm. uh, and they're keeping, the the, uh, keeping them as local artists. In other words, North Carolina bound. Okay. So they had 36, I think, uh, entries and they have narrowed it down to about 10 or 12. Well, they, those 10 or 12 have been put on the city's website and on uh, Downtown Goldsboro's uh -huh. website. Okay. We're asking for the community to look at these, click on the different pictures of the sculpture, mm -hmm. read what it's all about, see what the dimensions are and that type thing, and give mm -hmm. us your feedback. Now, once we have your feedback, we're going to take that information. The steering com committee will take that number down to about four potential sculptures, and we'll take those to the city council. The city council will make the final decision on which two they want to see, of course, for that the first temporary time frame in the roundabout. Excellent. Now click on each picture because it will tell you information. Like one of the first ones, you see a man in a ladder. Well, that is not actually a sculpture. <laughs> what he's doing is he is actually standing on the platform that one of these sculptures will be on. Oh, okay. And he, is, he has a ladder there just to show you a size. So you don't want to vote for him? No. No. Because <laughs> that no. is just a, 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 sh a showcase He's of the platform. He's probably a very nice man. I'm sure he is. But we are asking for the community to, to give us their feedback. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. They're all very unique and very different. Mm -hmm. And we want to try to add a little modern into our mm -hmm. downtown historic mm -hmm. community. So you go to the city website, yes. goldsboronc.gov. Yes, you do. And then you look at these, and you can click on them, but when you click on them, that doesn't mean you're voting for it. No, it just means it's you're just, reading about oh, it. okay, getting information, and yes. then you can vote for it. Well, not vote. We're not voting. We're not We're even not asking for a vote. Don't We're vote. only asking for Don't your opinions and your feedback on each and every sculpture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
just trying to include the community. I like that. Yeah. That's good. But now that's they're wanting your feedback. That's right. And remember, Streetscape will be finished in November, so we need everybody's feedback oh pretty quickly so we can get this taken care of and get them on order. And for uh, yours truly, if you happen to have an extra feed bag, call me at 555-55551. Uh, or not. I believe it's time to get our interviews. <laughs> Have you heard what all is happening right here in downtown Goldsboro? Well, joining me in the studio today is Aaron Acri from downtown Goldsboro, or DGDC, here to tell us an update on what's happening. And my goodness, we have a lot going on. Always. <laughs> yes, we? we do. Don't we always? Yes, we do. Well, I am thrilled to hear about, you know, we've been talking about with the Streetscape Project, mm -hmm. these sculptures that we are looking to add to downtown Goldsboro yes. in the two roundabouts. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, in the middle roundabout on Center Street, we have, we have the big fountain. Mm -hmm. But on the other two roundabouts, there'll be a platform placed, and we're going to have interchangeable art. That's right. Correct? Yes. So tell me what we're doing to engage the community and get their opinion and their feedback on which art should be placed there. What sculptures? Yes. Well, it's a really neat idea. We're basically leasing art so that we can change it out. Um, it, it's done through a grant for the city. And the idea was to incorporate local artists. So most of the art pieces that we're choosing from are throughout North Carolina. So we're incorporating local artists, but we want to have unique pieces. Um, and it's not going to be there forever. So the idea is to create conversation because Absolutely. we know that art does that. People yes, love it, it or they hate it, but exactly. they talk about it. <laughs> so we have a public art steering committee that has selected 12 pieces. And we've narrowed those down. And we want the public's input now. Well, tell me more so, about that steering committee, if you will. Who is that made up of? Not necessarily the, the people themselves, but mm -hmm. where are they from? Um, throughout our community. They all have different interests in the art world. So, of course, we have the Arts Council. Um, we have the architect that is behind Streetscape. And they all represent different interests in right. the art world in our community. Excellent. So, I think there are about 12 or 13 of those folks. And so, then they've narrowed it down. They've narrowed it down to 12. So now we're looking for the public's input to help us decide on the final, I think four pieces is what we're going to narrow it down to and then go to council and let them decide on the final two pieces that are going to go up there first. So now how can we give our feedback back to you guys and you how can, can we see the pictures? Well, you can vote. Well, I've got, funny you should ask. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little sample here that I just, I did a screenshot of the website. But yeah. if you go to dgdc.org, um, there's a big green badge on the home page. You just click on that and it takes you to this temporary site. It has all of these um, images and possible sculptures on there. And the idea is we want you to click on the sculpture. It tells you what the title of it is um, and it gives you a little bit more information about the sculpture itself. And Excellent. then you can provide individual feedback on each one. So whether you love it or you hate it, we want to know um, right. on each individual sculpture. So from that, we're going to take the feedback and narrow it down to four. So you'll take that feedback back to the steering committee. Mm -hmm. The steering committee will narrow it down to four. Mm -hmm. Those four will be taken to city council and the councilman will decide on the final two. That's right. So there are so many people that get to weigh in on yes, this. Yes. Um, hopefully by the end of it, we won't have people <laughs> saying, well, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Um, so we're really putting it out there. We want to get a lot of different perspectives because everyone feels differently That's about right. art. That's exactly um, right. We all have different backgrounds and interests when it comes to art. So we're really interested to see who the front runners are. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Well, what I, I think is even more interesting is the fact that it is temporary, mm -hmm. so we're short term. So you'll have two pieces of art out there for a period of time. I'm not sure right. if it's a year or how long it mm -hmm. is. And then the next year we'll see something totally different. Exactly. And we'll do this all over again. Yes, we will. So it, it'll be really neat to see what the public decides and what they like. Um, oh, yes. And then how, it's, how we interchange it as well. Um, I think it'll be nice against the backdrop of historic downtown oh, yes. Goldsboro. It'll be neat to have some modern pieces. Oh, yes. Um, so there, there are some really good choices in there. Mix a lot of history and the future. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of, we've been talking about Streetscape and Center Street. Mm -hmm. As expected, Center Street, um, the attention that's been placed on it and the revitalization and, the, and all the um, regrowth that has been happening over mm -hmm. the, the past year or two has really kind of pushed a tremendous amount of growth in new business downtown. Absolutely. We've t I've talked with Julie several times, and you and I have discussed this many times, that as of yesterday, 37 new businesses 
mm -hmm. have come to downtown Goldsboro since Streetscape Project began. Isn't 37. that fantastic? 37. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just getting started. Exactly. So tell me what the latest and greatest news is about <laughs> what else is getting ready to open or what has just recently opened in downtown. We have some exciting businesses coming to downtown and I just I can't wrap my head around the 37. I just think it's amazing. Uh, that is amazing. And these are all unique small businesses and that's what small business Boutique is all businesses. about. Yeah. yeah. It's about finding something that you can't find in a large box store exactly. and getting that unique experience when you go in. So I think Carolina Pine Country Store really embodies that it mindset of does. unique and different. Um, it's such a neat store. She's done an amazing job of taking this historic space. She tore up linoleum that was in there and found this beautiful old tile that's mm. been there for who knows how many years. Yes, she did. It's just gorgeous. Well, I was in um, there the other day because it was a grand opening, mm -hmm. and we went in to visit, and the most unusual and unique things are in mm -hmm. there from, you need to visit her Facebook page first and yeah. foremost, Carolina Pine, Pine Country, Country Store. store. Mm -hmm. She has some of the most unique chocolate I've ever heard of or seen yes. in my entire life. Mm -hmm. Chocolate with bacon in it, all <laughs> kinds of crazy other things. It she is very looks, unusual. She looks for the unique and different. Yes, she I also it. looks for local. Um, you saw a lot of that. She gets local honey. Local eggs. And local eggs. She has a lot of gluten-free items for yes. people that are gluten-free. So it's just really neat and yes. different and you could just spend all day in there. And we could spend 30 minutes just talking about what all's in her store. Exactly. But I challenge our community walk in the doors. Check it out. Yeah. Check it out. And it is amazing. What's, what's neat about that store is that she's not new to Goldsboro. Right. She's been over on Royal Avenue for, I don't know, five, six years now. Um, so she's actually made the decision to move downtown because she saw the growth and potential That's exactly. we hear coming that to time downtown. And time again. I know. But so if you're looking excited. for something like a unique general store, mm -hmm. that's very much what her store is exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. You so check it out. Candy and clothing mm -hmm. in the same place. Candy, clothing, <laughs> candles. When you walk in there, it was overwhelming. It smelled so fantastic. It smells really good. Yep. It's it's like a, as I said yesterday, um, country, country, no, not country skillet. What's the what's the country store? Oh oh oh! Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. It's yeah, like their it's gift like shop, Cracker sort of. Barrel yes. on speed, sort of. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, but we've got some other great businesses yes. that have come downtown as well. Sumo mm -hmm. rumor is out, Sumo and Japanese it's been restaurant. confirmed that Sumo is actually opening opening a second location downtown. I know we are thrilled. We're Tell me so about what they're going to offer. It's going to be a little bit of Asian fusion. So um, they'll have their sushi. They'll have a sushi bar, Excellent. and then they'll also have Kobe burger. Oh, wow. So I'm excited to see how they put those two together, yeah. and then they'll have a wine bar as well. So it's going to be they going? unique. They're going in the old Matchbox location, Yay. which everybody is familiar <laughs> with. Yes. Um, We're glad to see that space, space being used because it's great. It's, and it's huge. So it it's the perfect space for this because we know it's going to take off and everybody's going to want to eat there. Right. Um, so that is coming in July, hopefully, so we can look for that. Yeah, and that is and located right there on John Street. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? On John Street, just down from Terreros. It's between Terreros and, and the, the Arts, Arts Council. Council. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So we've got a nice little hub there yeah. dining and then another new business is um, Chef Herb's Bistro yes. which is on Walnut Street. Now tell me more about him and where his location is. Um, he is in the old downtown, downtown Delhi. Delhi. Yeah, it's the it has the green facade, mm -hmm. and he's done a lot of great work on the inside. I mean, it's it's night and day. It looks fantastic, um, and it, it really is so totally different than what the downtown Delhi was. Completely. Yeah, give us a little rundown because <laughs> it, it's just a shocker on what all he has. Well, in there. it's slightly Mediterranean. Um, at dinner, he's got a fine dining feel, but at lunch, it's a little more casual. So he actually has the he has actually has tablecloths on the table tables at night but at lunch he takes them off and he's got these beautiful refinished tables so he tries Excellent. to you know find a balance yeah. between fine dining and grab and go um, but he has great sandwiches he does brisket sandwiches that he has out at Center Street Jams nice um, he's even got some great fish dishes and he changes his menu regularly okay so you can find a little bit of everything but it has a Mediterranean feel so it's very fresh he's got a lot of healthy options excellent um, but it's delicious now and he's located on Walnut Street mm -hmm. and he's open for lunch and dinner yes and I'm assuming he has a Facebook page as well he does chef Herb's Bistro 
There you so go. So you can find it on there. You can find his hours and his, his, his exact address if you're not sure. But that's a great place. If you work downtown like yeah. us, you can hop over yeah. for lunch and grab a Have sandwich. Have to check him out. Mm -hmm. So we've got so. sushi and Kobe burgers coming yep. with Sumo. Yeah. We've got Chef Chef, Chef Herbs, Herbs with, Bistro, his Mediterranean. with his Mediterranean, and then of Carolina course we already Pine. have quite a few restaurants downtown, and now we Carolina do. Pine Country Store. Exactly. The growth and is amazing. Our, our businesses that are down here currently are expanding and um, expanding their hearing. hours and days of the week. Um, JoJo's, for example, is now a bar yeah. and bistro, and she's open at night, and she has her bar going. So there's a lot of expansion happening Sounds downtown. Sounds like it. Yeah. Well, you know, once again, the concept of streetscape and what it has done for our community and our downtown is mm -hmm. amazing. It continues to grow by leaps and bounds. Absolutely. And, and we see a tremendous amount of growth in the next two to five years as well. Yes, and you can find all that information on the city's website too. You do a great job of keeping that updated. Well, thank you. And then you have your videos. But if you go on the website, you can see specifically how many jobs are projected to That's be right. created, how much money is going to go into our local economy because of streetscape. So That's it right. really is a uh, fantastic project and we're just we're so happy that we were fortunate enough to, to get that grant to get that grant yes, yeah we were mm -hmm. federal grant excited making a big difference in our community Absolutely. and honestly it's not just affecting downtown it is affecting our entire Wayne County mm -hmm. entire community yes. and I've heard this saying many times as as business people look to come in our community and industry look to come in our community mm -hmm. to think about investing right here in Wayne County the one of the first things they do is come to your downtown. That's right. If you've got a thriving downtown, they know you're taking care mm -hmm. of your what they call living room. Right. Think of a community as a, a good way to put it as a home. Mm -hmm. Well, your downtown's your living room. It's where you spend the core amount of your time. Right. And if you don't take care of it, they see, hmm, maybe that's not the community I need exactly. to go to. Yeah. So we're looking for changes. We're getting changes in our community, and they our are. downtown is growing and, and, and beginning to thrive, and I'm thrilled People about that. People are taking notice, that's yes, for they sure. Are. So. Yes, they are. Yeah. So tell me about Center Street Jam, something we've been doing for okay. quite a while. Yes, to, to wrap it up. Yeah. Well, we also have Sprinkler Fun Days, which I can briefly cover, but Center Street Jam, we have two more coming up in June. June 11th with Soul Central, and then June 25th with Carolina Treat Band. So the last couple of jams that we have had have been beautiful. Yes. I don't want to, I better don't knock jinx on some wood. <laughs> I know, um, but they've kind of been beach music. So these are some different bands. Yeah. Um, we've got some kind of, I guess soul is like jazz, soul yeah. central. They've got a little bit of rock and roll to some southern rock. So they're a great band. And then Carolina Treat Band is local a band. local band yeah. with a local following. That'll be a big deal. And those are brought to us by Stovall Dental and Katy Country. Excellent. Um, and of course, that's at six o'clock in the John the Street parking nine. lot. Mm -hmm. Free doesn't cost a thing to that's come right. in and enjoy. Got lots of local vendors and beverages and fun for the kids. That's right. So it's a great event if you haven't been yet. I don't know where you've been, been hiding if you haven't oh, been no. yet. <laughs> um, and then sprinkler fun days have just started up and they go through August twentieth every Thursday in Cornerstone Commons. Um, we know that the fire department brings that big sprinkler yes. out and the kids and this can is open run for around. Everybody, right? It's open for everybody. It's free. It's from 3 to 4 every Thursday throughout the summer. Every Thursday, swimsuit on or whatever. That's right. Whatever you're comfortable getting That's wet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Fantastic. Well, Erin, you, you guys do a great job. Thank We're excited you. for all the things that are happening. And when you come back next time, tell us more, if you will, about you have some focus on a downtown business. I believe yes. every month. Meet me downtown. Meet me downtown. Meet me downtown. So for June, that's Bad Dog Coffee Works. Where's that? Which um, I have the address right here. Yes. Let's see. Bad Dog Coffee Works. Bad Dog Works. Coffee Works, 102 West Walnut Street. And when do we need to so go there? So it's right there on the corner through June. Okay. Um, they'll offer different discounts throughout the month, and you can find those out on their Facebook page. So the idea of Meet Me Downtown is for the public to get to know these businesses not just what they're serving, but the, the, the men people. and the women behind the business. Um, and this, so you I'm can so, learn I'm about them on Facebook. Shop. It's a coffee <laughs> shop, yeah. But you, they have a, a vinyl night where you can bring your own vinyl oh, records wow. and they'll play them. They have movie nights. It's just a really neat new business yeah. downtown. Okay, fantastic. We have lots mm -hmm. of things we need to get out and check out. Yes, we do. Just spend some time walking around downtown. And Take so it all you know, in. all businesses are open, even under construction. There's That's a way right. to get to each and every business mm -hmm. we have downtown. Come on downtown, check it out. Thank you, Aaron. Right. Thank you. That's what's happening in your community. Joining me in the studio today is Julie Beck, president of Mount Olive Area Chamber of Commerce, here to tell us what's happening in her community. Hello and welcome back. 
Thanks, Kim. Good to see you again. Uh, you too. I hear you all have a great big birthday you're celebrating down in Mount Olive. We do. The Chamber of Commerce on April 29th, 1930 was incorporated, and this year we're celebrating our 85th birthday. 85 years old. Wow, how things have changed and how time has flown. <laughs> this is true. There were six men, uh, community men in Mount Olive who started the Mount Olive Chamber, and now you look at where we're at now, we're at close to 200 chamber members, and you know, things are just going and growing, and it's just great. That is excellent, excellent. So I know you guys are going to throw a big party or a big celebration. So tell us what's going on and how we can be a part of it. Well, last weekend we had a, a thing open for the community in our, our Westbrook Park, and we had games and activities, and we had our new pickle train that made excellent. its appearance at the Pickle Festival. Oh, how cute. And then we had a movie where people brought their blankets out in lawn chairs, and they watched um, The Wizard of Oz. Nice. It was fantastic. Nice. It was nice for the families to come bring oh, their yeah. picnic baskets. That's and such just make a, nice a nice park, too. Oh, it is. Y'all got it. Nice y'all done a great job yep. in Mount Olive. Really, that's a focal point of your community. It is a focal point. I'm glad yeah. I was a part of all that when we helped build the uh, Kids World Playground. But the second part of our celebration is happening this week, and we will be having uh, our chamber members come to ribeyes. We're going to have a party oh, on the patio. Nice. We're going to have some hors d'oeuvres and some, some beverages, and uh, the mayor is going to read a proclamation about our 85th anniversary, and we're just making it a nice event for our chamber yeah, members. Yeah, and that's when? It's on June 18th. June 18th, and the time? It is from 6.30 to 8.30 at Ribeyes. Do people need to register? Um, they can, but if they don't, you know, it's, it's all okay. right. We're just trying to get an idea how much food and stuff to have. Wow. But I, I mailed invitations out last week to all of our chamber members okay. and asking them to RSVP. And so we just want them to know that they're welcome to come and celebrate us turning 85. Over 200 members, and it started out with six. Yep. What change? That's, pro that's <laughs> progression. That, uh, it really is. And So tell me more about what's happened recently or what you guys have happening in the next few months. Well, as part of our 85th anniversary, another thing that we wanted to do was create a chamber directory. And we used to always have one. And then I, I don't remember know, those. something happened. You know, things happen, you get busy, yes. and it just got put on the back shelf. And we have not had a chamber directory in almost 10 years. So tell me what that means, a chamber well, directory. That is a, it's a booklet that tells all the chamber members and how do you contact them. And it's divided up by category. So if you want a restaurant or if you want an accountant or if you want a mechanic, so you can look that up and see who that is. And it's also a visitor's relocation guide. So Absolutely. it tells you if you want to, how do you get a driver's license, where do you go to voter registration, and where do you get your water turned on, where do you get your electricity turned on. So we decided to combine the two together. Uh, it's a rack card size, and uh, we just had 5,000 copies printed up just last week, and we're excited. We're going to start distributing it to everybody. So where can somebody pick one of those up? Well, they can get it at our event on June 18th, or they can come to the chamber office, or any of our chamber members. We're going to give them a whole bunch to have in their businesses to have on display and disperse for people. Excellent. Now, if I wanted to uh, check this out on your website, will this eventually be put on the it website? It will be eventually. It's not there yet, but it will be put on our website. Excellent. So uh, we're excited about this. Like I said, we should have never gone 10 years, but it is what it is. And we're excited about this. And, uh, hey, you've I think, done it. Yeah. <laughs> so really, it was all part of this 85th. We thought, you know what, if we're going to turn 85, we got to have this directly. That's right. We need to put this out. So the cover is actually um, recognizing us turning 85 years old. Wonderful. Well, you know, that really is such a great tool for people if they're looking to come to Mount Olive, to move to exactly. that community. Uh, whatever the reasoning is, whether it's through industry or family or whatever the tie is to the community, to be able to access this on your website. That's right. And see all these different businesses that are chamber mm -hmm. members. That is fantastic tool and resource that you're offering the public. It is, it is. You know, and I just got back from a visit to Ohio to visit my family, and I took some home to my family, and they were like, this thing is really nice. They're like, yeah. you know, when we come to visit you, this would be helpful for us to Absolutely. know where to go and what to do. That's right. You know? And well, to um, know what all is out there. Yeah. What all is offered in the community. That's fantastic. And being a chamber member has so many perks to begin with. It does. I have two pages of nothing but what the benefits are of being a chamber member. And that's a misconception sometimes that I think, I think people may not always understand what all the benefits are. And one of the best tools that they can do is just have a conversation with you or one of your chamber members to find out what are the perks. Right. And that's I'm right. sure it's also included on your website. That's right. That's right. And, you know, and, and we're, you know, growing. You know, uh, we get new chamber members every turn, turn around. I just went to visit two new businesses in town last week, and I'm hoping they'll join the chamber. But if not, you know, it's still fine. We'll still support them Absolutely. and promote them. And, you know, because I think that's what we are. And, and one right. of my taglines is the chamber is the community, the community is the chamber. So I promote all things in my life, not whether you're a chamber member or not. I just think we're such a small community, we've got to help right. each other out. And uh, it's been interesting, as I've been promoting businesses and organizations who are not chamber members, they're like, wow, you really promote me. I should join the chamber. So it's been kind of interesting. It comes yes. back, and uh, it's been very nice. Good deeds always come back around. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, tell me more about this pickle train. Well, we <laughs> contracted with a mile off college student to build uh, a pickle train out of 10 pickle barrels. And wow. they're painted green, and they each hold accommodate one child. And he designed this whole thing; it's phenomenal. 
and uh, he actually he's a chamber member. He has his two he has two businesses. Um, Excellent. And he designed this, and we used it for the first time ever at the pickle festival, and. Uh, Kids love oh, it. I'm matter sure. Fact, I, I, you know, did you did you try it out, Julie? I wrote it. I'm of just course <laughs> you did. That, I knew the answer before I asked that question. <laughs> it's great for adults too. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and we have partnered up with the Friends of the Park in Malala, and they will be using it throughout the summer. And they will be offering pickle train rides at a dollar a person to be Fantastic. able to ride it during the summertime. So uh, we're excited about that. What we a great wanted, new little attraction. Yeah, we didn't want it just for the pickle festival. So we made a partnership with the Friends of the Park Excellent. with the idea that they can use it and we can use it. And we'll be using it at our Christmas great. time. Oh, I'm sure. It. And so I can already see tons of cool oh, things happening I can at this too. pickle train. We need lots of pictures <laughs> of that. You need that all over your website. Yeah. Okay, how cute is that? Well, you always do a great job. You and your board and your and the community does a good job of really coming together, partnering together to really showcase what all men olive has to offer and what a great fine community it really is right and another thing we just partnered with is university of mile olive i said mom college a while ago but you know we can i know that. I, I know around. i know <laughs> i know i understand but university of mile olive and the chamber are partnering and we're going to have a majesty rose concert on august 28th oh, at the campus and it's going to be open to the community and we're going to have a cookout and it's going to be free for june everybody. 28th no august 28th august 28th august 28th, so august 28th. okay august august 28th. mark your calendars yeah free Free. free. There's going to be a public. cookout that's going to be free. There's going to be the concert. And then we're going to have a drive-in movie. And we're probably either showing, I think, Pitch Perfect 2 is what we're going to be showing. And this is in your park? This is going to be at Mount Olive. Oh, oh University, University of Mount, Mount Olive. Olive. It's going to be on their campus. All right, let's get that right. University of Mount Olive, August 28th. Free to the public. Free to the public. Majesty Rose concert right there, Mount Olive. Yeah, Fantastic. So I'm excited oh, about that, that is wonderful. Well, she's great. I've worked with her quite a few times yes. with events here in the community, and she's a good girl, and we want to continue to support our, our, our kids that yes. are wanting to, to do good things in the world. Well, Majesty was supposed to perform at the Pickle Festival, but unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, we got a little bit of pickle, uh, raining pickles in the middle of our festival, yes. and that was right when Majesty it was supposed to, I can't speak today, supposed to perform. Yeah. And so we agreed that we would just postpone that concert and do it later and do it at the campus. And Excellent. so we still wanted to leave it in Mount Olive and open, the, open it to the public, and so we're excited about that. That is great. That yeah. is great. I'm sure all that's on your website. People want it to find be. out more. <laughs> it will be, as people want to find out more about it. Thank you so much, Julie. You've always you. got great things happening. That's what's happening, actually, in Mount Olive, the Chamber of Commerce. And we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Hello. Yes, we I'm are. I'm glad you're with us. Yes, okay. we are. Okay, look uh, very quickly at birthdays for today. Today being June 8th, today is Charles Tyner's birthday. Charles Chuck, the big C, is from Danville, Virginia. He's been in such movies as Cool Hand Luke, and he was in Little House, and he was in uh, Father Murphy and Highway to Heaven, so he's a, he was a favorite of uh, Michael Landon's. But uh, he's 90 today, and he's the kind of character actor that if you don't know the name, and most people don't, are not familiar just off the street with uh, right. Charles Tyner, you'd know him if you saw him. He's one of those, but he's 90 today. Jerry Stiller, who is uh, Ben Stiller's dad. Ben's dad. He's a great actor himself. Jerry is a fantastic comedian. Yes, he is. I remember watching him in the early days on Ed Sullivan and way back when. He and yeah. his lovely wife, Ann Mira, uh, were just hilarious on Ed Sullivan and have been in, <laughs> uh, been in uh, show business all their lives. Oh, yeah. She passed away recently. And uh, but Jerry is on uh, King of Queens, of yes, course. Yes, he is. He, he does was, a great job. Yeah, I know he's so funny, but he was on <laughs> Seinfeld as well for a while. But he's 88 today. Kathy Baker uh, was Dr. Jill Brock on Pet Picket Fences. Meredith Peters on Boston Public. She's stage, screen, and television, 65 today. Now here is not an actor, but here's a guy that deserves mention. One of my heroes is a guy by the name of Tim Berners-Lee. He's a guy who actually, hard to believe, invented the World Wide Web. He didn't invent the really? internet. Really? But that www you put in front of yes. your URL address, he came up with it. He didn't invent the internet, but he invented the World Wide Web. He made it happen. He made it work. Anyway, he's 60 today. Can you believe that? Wow. 60 years old. Just a kid. <laughs> uh, birthday today for Keenan Ivory Wayans. You know one of the Wayans brothers? Mm -hmm. He's 57. Frank Grillo, who was Brock Rumlow on, in the Captain America movies. People are familiar with that. He's 52. Kevin Farley was Chris's brother. Uh, Kevin is 50 today. He's a big-time actor, director, writer. Yep. Uh, Mark Feuerstein. The star of TV's Royal Pains. Yes. Mark Feuerstein, and I didn't know that was his name, but anyway, he was also in Carolina in the City and West Wing and all that. He's 44. And Jess Wixler 
was Robin on The Good Wife, and she is 34 today. And those are the birthdays. Well, sir. Ta-da! Well, you reminding you that this Thursday we have another Center Street Jam. Oh, boy. From 6 until 9, of course, in the John Street parking lot behind the Flying Shamrock. Mm -hmm. So it will be June 11th from 6 until 9 p.m., and the band will be Soul Central. All right. Little this soul is brought music. to you by Stovall Dental. I love, well, we used to call it soul music. They don't call it soul exactly. music anymore. Exactly, I know. It's R&B. <laughs> and exactly. A, a I love soul music, and, too. Yeah, I mean, But that's that this Thursday. Give me that come on brown. out. That's Ooh. right. Okay, yeah. 6 to 9, come on out. Enjoy some free family fun. Of so course, there will be some local vendors there uh, with things for sale for you if you're interested and some beverages there from R.A. Jeffries. So come on out and enjoy the good old soul music. From Soul, soul Central. Train. Yeah, soul, soul, Central. Central. Soul, Central. soul Central. Soul Central. Soul Central. Yeah. Soul Central. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, we've lost our All mind. right. <laughs> okay, a long time ago. Uh, on Wednesday, June 17th, which is later on this month, what, about 10 days from now, uh, Hitesh Vashnani, the pharmacy manager at the new Walmart in Tommy's Road, will be the, at the Senior Center on East Ash Street to talk about drug interactions and compliance with medications. Now, a question and answer period will follow the program. Hitesh Vashnani will be the speaker. He will answer your questions. Also, uh, if you'd like to bring your medications in, there'll be an opportunity to meet with him individually after the presentation. The program free, open to the public. Anybody can go in and talk to him about this. And if you want more information about it, call Paula Edwards. And Paula's at 705-1928, which was a wonderful year, by the way. <laughs> Don't forget Farmer's Market will be open this Wednesday and Friday and every Wednesday and Friday through November. Let's see. They'll be open from 8 o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. at Herman Park. Fresh local eggs, vegetables, Ooh. handmade soaps, pork skins, fruit, plants, flowers, anything you can imagine Ooh. is going to be right there. Local farmers, eat fresh, shop local. Oh boy. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Uh, line dancing with uh, Stacia Fields. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got her uh, line dancing classes all set up for the month of June, but now they will be on summer break during the months of July and August. She will not be boogieing. There you go. Well, well, I believe it's time to head on out. It's time to go. We'll be yes, back tomorrow. Have yourself a great day. Enjoy the day. We'll be back in here tomorrow morning at 7, then it repeats at noon, then repeats again at 5.30 p.m. So until tomorrow, for Wayne Goldsboro Television, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.